Mike Chamberlain has an interesting sports star of the week for us tonight. Yeah, he has written a book called Surely You Joust, so it'll tell you what his sport is. 70 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. He really believes that life begins at 70. An interesting man. You'll meet him when we come back. jolly old Englishman who at 70 years of age just happens to compete in one of the most dangerous sports known to man. His name is Max Diamond. Kind of the Super Bowl, a rock concert, state fair, and Oktoberfest all rolled into one. It is jousting. The oldest sport in all of Europe. Records will trace this sport all the way back to 1066. And today it lives on at numerous facilities, such as the Renaissance Festival in Arizona. And the man who is the spokesman for the sport is a jovial 70-year-old man named Max Diamond. He nearly died twice. He's broken every bone in his body, but he's proud to tell you. It's a competitive sport, and any competitive sport, there is a risk of danger. But the horses, we have a great record, which I'm very proud of. And in 24 years of jousting, not one of our horses has been injured in a joust, hmm. because the horses come first and the men second. And the people, if they see a horse injured, God help you. Mm -hmm. They don't mind the guys being injured. Exactly. And horses. if you're lying there and you're carried off in the ambulance, they're marvelous. They talk about it and thousands of people come and see it, you know. <laughs> Words from the oldest known jouster in the world. And at 70, you have to be impressed with the fact that he can still manage a horse, considering that jousters carry about 60 pounds of armor. And we've got metal armor here. It's very uncomfortable. It really is. And it's a pleasure to put it on, but a great pleasure to take it off. <laughs> so if you're looking for your knight in shining armor, I suggest you look no further than Max Diamond, who has performed in Australia, Canada, Rhodesia, South Africa, Spain, Bavaria, and the United States. And he hopes to bring a world championship tournament to the United States, perhaps even Phoenix. Do you remember the song, My Boomerang Won't Come Back? Perhaps you do it. Barely, I remember that. No. Song. Max wrote that song, believe it or not. What no, a well-rounded right? gentleman. Unbelievable, isn't it? Talented, multi-talented. Okay. Thank you.